Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a lot of Mugen crashes problems. Yeah, you will see uh, when playing uh, with Mugen for a long time. So a lot of new people to Wimogen have been commenting on my channel a lot about how they can run any character at all. So I will show you how to fix all of the possible crashes that I could think of, okay? So just a sample, you just like just download it, Wimogen. Let me change my key blind a bit. Okay, you just download it, Wimogen. Alright, and you got yourself your first cheap character. You try her out. I use Emery Move as a sample. Right. And the game crash. So how do you fix this? Pretty simple. All you pretty much need to do is like change your Mugen.config. It's in the data file. Mugen.config and change these numbers. Uh these. Uh I will leave uh, a link in the description to my community post. That uh, you know helps you uh, to know what uh, to change the numbers on, like after image max, uh, exposed max to uh, like uh, you need to change it to like a certain uh, like a very pretty high amount of number because these characters spam a lot of attacks and like have a lot of sprites, so they can really low if you if these limits are too low, all right. I'm pretty lazy, so I'm just gonna grab my Mugen.config from my main Mugen and copy it to uh, yeah here. So yeah, she should work now. Okay, so. The next example, you download like two extremely heavy characters. One is like a gigabyte or 500 meg megabyte, and uh, you want them to fight each other. I will use the like, Inferno Zero Hard and Final for this example. You see, like they are too heavy, they take too much uh, of the computer memory, and they can really load it. So if you want these two to fight, like two heavy uh, flashy characters fight, with a lot of sprites, you will need four gear by patch. Uh, you use it, then find your Mugen EXE location, press open, OK, then go back and it should work. See, all right. Next, next, mm -hmm, you know, next tip will be okay. Renaming files. So, some characters that you got on the official source, they like from a Japanese author. They might have like. They might use like Japanese to name their files, Japanese letters, that when it got translated in your computer, it might become something like uh, some random gibberish, uh, some random letters that you can't understand at all. Something like this. Uh, so how do you fix it? Um, you just like go to your dev and 
you know, rename the file path. Uh, I named this A before because um, this is the A file. Then, so this step will go to the A file and then find mremove.cns to load the CNS. Yeah, you know, like here, like, it's in here, mremove.cns. So you have to name the file path correctly in the dev so the character could load normally. Uh, if uh, like the file name is like messed up, you have to do that. Uh, I already like name it A, as you can see. I just name it back to A, or uh, or uh, just let me, I I will show you what happened if mm, uh, the name is like incorrect. See, you can see a sprite, which obviously will crash if you select, you know, better into a battle. So just change this to the same file path as you uh, in the dev, and it will work. This can be said the same to if you want to add a character. So like some people complain uh, about like they download a character, they put it in the select.dev and they don't see it. I put Big Bang Donald and <laughs> here and he didn't show up at all. Oh he did. Oh my bad, my bad. So let me just do this. For example, uh let me just like So, for example, you download a character named Big Bang Donald with like the under slash, right? Then you go to him again. You don't see him anyway. So how do you fix this? You go to uh, his file and you look at the Big Bang uh, Big Bang Donald uh, Doctor. Okay, you look at the name, you have to copy it and make sure that the file is the same as the dev. Alright. Yeah, also in the select dev too. You have to name it at the same. Big bang donor, big bang donor. It should have like, a space in between. And he will appear. So yeah, some people when they download the characters, I don't know why some authors like uh, intentionally named the file name different from the uh, dev, so some of them just don't work, and people complain to me about that. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we can check check if the character version. So like some cheapies don't really work in Wimogen. They are kind of also work in Wimogen 1.0 1.1. Like they are not compatible with Morgan, so to check the version, you can look at the Morgan version in the dev file. If it's like 2002, that means it's with Morgan. If it's some years later than this, it is like Morgan 1.0 and 1.1. Yeah, there's only three versions with Morgan 1.0 and 1.1. Remember that, alright? So or uh, you can just like you know test the character on all three versions to see if it works uh, on uh, freedom okay next up okay this will be a some difficult one for like some difficult configuration that um you know for anyone uh, really want to play this game so uh, you see how my aim remove uh, have like the Japanese letter uh, here and instead of the, the shippers uh, random thingy uh, it's actually Japanese so if you want to do this you can go to control panel you go to clock no oh yeah clock in region yeah 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 and go to region you go to administrative change system locale 
you can change this to either Japanese or Ch Chinese simplified depending uh, on the character or where you get the character there are Chinese author and Japanese author so change it if you want to you know, like you know like read the options of these characters okay Chinese simplified China and Japanese Japan once you change it you can press OK and it will tell you that you have to restart your computer to apply the changes you restart and the Japanese text the, the shippers will turn to the Japanese text Right, so how do you read? But how do you read them? How do you know? How do you understand it to like? How do you understand these texts to um, do any configuration to, to like? Uh, change the option to something else. Uh, you can go to Google Translate. Auto language description here, English or uh, at the right you can select English or your native language <coughs> okay so there you go uh, the translation is not a hundred percent accurate I would say it's about 80 percent but it's still very accurate and can help you understand like this yeah so you see big game switch if you set it as like two it would play this song three it play this song so yeah yeah See, you can clearly understand it. So, uh, don't think like Google Translate is like, oh, oh, it's not accurate. Uh, I can um, use this to you know understand anything. No, just uh, use it. Uh, big chance you uh, it will help you a lot. Okay, a high chance it will help you a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Next up, we got like the very, the very, you know, this stuff. Hmm, this stuff is uh, in uh, somewhere kind of like ah, uh, uh, with the security settings. Uh, don't worry, it won't make your computer equal to malware, but yeah, push search defender on your. PC only on Windows 10 and 11. So actually, uh, my, my is like the Vietnamese version. I don't know why, but yeah. Uh, this, because uh, my Windows Defender is I don't know why has uh, switched to my native language. Uh, so I will sh show you this picture right here. You just uh, like. You know, go to app, app and browser control. It's the simple, so it's here for me. Go to exploit protection and exploit protection settings. So it's here for me. So you see all of these, you know, options. Set it to default. All of them. All of them to default. There will be on, off, defaults. Set all of them to default. If all of them are on, then Windows. I would just explain that Windows just block every kind of like code execution, like suspicious code, suspicious code execution that will pretty much uh, stop most of the uh, GPs. That wouldn't be very good though. You just set it on default. It will still protect your computer, but it won't just like block everything. Yeah, don't worry, your PC will be safe. Don't set all of them to off though. The, that just means you just turn off the protection. Okay. If you're in like Windows, Windows Insider program, you have to leave it because uh, there are a lot of like bugs and errors in this version of Windows. Um, you know, these are just like experiments by Microsoft. So if anyone is in Windows Insider program, good luck. You will have to quit it by, you know, the only way to quit Windows Insider is, is like reinstall Windows 11. You can, you know, download uh, Windows 11 on Google and reinstall it. 
remember to back up your all of your important stuff before you do that. Yeah, but yeah, I uh, try. I, I used to be a Windows Insider, so I, I know a lot of uh, characters become out of function. They don't work anymore because of them. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, I will make an example. Another example when a Mugen character pretty much is just like crash your game. Not, not crash, but like they freeze your game. Long or whatever. That you can, that you can uh, even close it. See, you can't close it at all, no matter what you try, you can't close it at all. What you can do here to close it, is to control shift escape. It will follow open task manager, just open the phone, and switch task manager here, and open it, push plugin, set end task. So if you're having trouble but like some Mugen characters, you know, not closing your Mugen at all, or like if the Mugen crash for so long, like it's still freezing, you can use Task Manager to end it. Okay, so the final tip I have here is that you can contact uh, authors uh, on social media, um, maybe on YouTube or Discord. So for example here I did contact PL for helping out, you know, fixing El Yomu in the past and she doesn't work for me for my computer at all. I text him here and tell him about the problem. So about the problem here so he could help me fix it. Um so yeah, if you don't know where to Look for look for authors for help. You can join Nami Discord server. There are a lot of like authors here. You can you know message on general end for help. If uh for like a character, and you know you can ask for help if a character doesn't work for you. You can type here like um uh, can you guys run this character um or you know how to fix this? They will answer it for you. Because there are a lot of experienced authors out here, they can uh, help you there uh, instead of me. Because you know I'm recently very busy in school. So yeah, uh, that's it. Oh, oh, and if you want to join Nami Discord server, you can um, search for the link. Search for the that link in like the Nami community tab is here. Army community chat, yeah. So yeah, it's here. You can join us here. You want to ask for some help uh, instead of me. So yeah. I hope uh, all of these can improve your Wimbledon experience more and yeah, more of your characters can now uh, work for you. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. If it doesn't work, then I don't really know. But yeah, hope. Uh, hopefully, uh, these uh, tips can uh, uh, help enhance your experience in uh, win again and playing with around with GPs. Yeah, peace out.